Hello everybody and welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Plague of Shadows. Before I do a level let's fight Black Knight. This is all getting too risky. I can't lose him. I'll reward you however you want. Just do this for me. Why would you help that miserable lunatic seize power and beguile the magicist? What's in it for you? Magicist, are you kidding me? You're just trying to talk up your asking price. Then there's the other matter. I can't be bought at any price. What are you two doing here? Something tells me we are going to find out right now. So, the Magicist, huh? What about her? Is she okay? Let me ask you something, Plague Knight. Where do I fit in your big plans? Are we partners? Are we more? Wait. I. 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 Look at him. Busted can't even formulate a response. Ha ha ha. What a wimp. This whole time, I thought we were in this together. Was I just a tool to you? I need some time to think about all this. Wow, what was her problem? And lest you think your problems end here, you continue to threaten the enchantress. Prepare to taste the steel. Here we are facing the Black Knight again. His fighting style is completely identical to the previous fights. He has more health of course the energy dig in particular is probably now his toughest attack. It should also be noted that he now has a tendency to hit your bombs back at you, so even if you hit something at him be ready to avoid it. He has 4 attacks, shovel swipe, energy shot, downward strikes, energy dig, shovel swipe, the knight will come up to you and swipe his shovel at you, energy shot, the black knight will make his shovel glow purple and then release an energy shot at you jump over it to avoid it. Downward strikes, his version of shovel drop and energy dig. Yes, a new type of energy attack. The black knight will dig into the earth and throw four purple energy balls at you. Mona, hey, where'd she run off to? Whoa, Percy on deck. I love riding that thing. Hey, Mona was in a hurry, gathered some things and took off. Is she ill? Well, no matter, rain or shine, Percy will fill in as needed. Is she really gone? I guess she's gone. Anyway, now let's do the stage for this episode. Clockwork Tower Lair of Tinker Knight. 30 cypher coins and 3 music sheets so let's do this. Remember these conveyor belts on the ground? Keep in the back of your mind that these move in the direction of the arrows. There's not much going on in this first screen so go up the ladder to the next screen. Start by destroying the rat running around. And destroy the wall to the right of the dirt blocks to reveal some gems and the lower left wall for another gem continue right to the next screen break the wall at the bottom and then make your way to the right where you'll see a gear wizard these gears travel across the ground so jump to the top and kill him 2 cypher coin right here. And I missed I will see you back here in a minute. 
Now let's grab the second cipher coin. And grab the the money on the left. You'll see some huge gears spinning towards you. You can double jump burst under the platform to get the cipher coin. Break the wall in the upper right corner. To reveal a ladder. Go up to a secret screen. Up here double jump burst across to get the chest. And on the way to the chest you can get the cipher coin. Do same thing on the way back. Now let's use bait bomb. To see what thing we are going to get from this sparkling bit. Just some tonics. Anyway proceed to the next room. Use the checkpoint here. And destroy the dirt blocks. To go down to the next screen. Some dirt blocks take one bomb some takes two. Wait up here for the fairy. And make your way across the raising platforms. While you grab the cypher coin in between them. At the end. Before you go up the ladder. Check the lower right corner to find the cypher coin stuck in the wall where the huge gear is. Break it and go it to a secret area. In here you'll see two cypher coins in the center of the moving platforms. Before you try to get them, make sure to take out the enemy on the right side or use smoke bomb if you have any trouble. Prepare your burst to get this cypher coin. And go right where you'll see one of those blue and yellow twirly things. These drop you when you step on them. Or you can jump constantly to stay on it. So drop down. Grab the cypher coin and die. Down here you can destroy the wall right underneath you to find a cypher coin. You destroy it by dropping down and bursting up to break it open with the explosion or just use bombs. Jump on the moving platform, and as you go up grab a second cypher coin. You'll be wanting to jump over the moving gears, to avoid taking damage or even worse, they can bump you into the pit. And one more chest let's see what relic is inside. Mobile gear, another useless relic for us. Now use the cannon, to send you to the first screen of this secret area. Return left and go up the ladder. Up here go up, and kill the enemy on top, you can do it from the ladder, and continue up to the next screen. Up here break up the wall on the right, for a platter, and kill the enemies, so you can grab the cypher coin in the center. You can go two ways up the ladder or right, you need to go right. Destroy the fairy, and then use the moving platforms, to grab the music sheet. Now return to the previous screen now, and go up the ladder. I like to go from the top then I make a full circle. That way I can get all the gems. And that fairy can be really annoying, because if hit by it, you will end up in the pit or spikes same goes for at enemy. I think this is first music sheet 2 more left. You can cheese this room with a smoke bomb, but if you want to do it properly destroy the wall here. Destroy this wall. For some gems or just one and a fairy. Grab the cypher coin, and go up the ladder on the left. Break the wall on the left, but first let's destroy this red power ranger. Now go left. Use double jump burst to grab the cypher coin, and make your way left. Also a lot of gold here, if you need it so be sure to collect it. Anyway, ignore the second cypher coin for now, and it's my boy Chester.
poured in a beaker, or stuffed in a bag. Chester's always got the swag. Hey, nice relic, pal. You know I could take that off your hands. And give you something a little more interesting. So let's see what will you trade me this time. Fleet flask explode into a frenzied dash trade mobile gear. So let's trade. Once Plague Knight has taken a drink of the fleet flask, he charges forward until he collides with a solid object, except for dirt blocks that break upon being hit, turns around, or throws bombs. In this state he can still jump, in order to avoid obstacles in pits. Anyway grab the coin right now, and go back to the room. In this room they want you to use fleet flask, but I don't need gems so let's go the same way we got here. Red Power Ranger is back so let's destroy him once again. Let's continue to the next room. Wait for the floor to retract, and drop down to get the cypher coin, and get the platter on the left. Continue going right. Oh I saved it oh my god. That was close grab a second cypher coin on top of the conveyor belt. And then we'll have a tricky cypher coin next. Make sure you have your VAT Arcana equipped. And what you'll want to do here is to jump off the platform as you pass on top of the coin. And then simply double jump burst across to safety. That didn't work as planned that's what I get for trying risk strats. Grab the checkpoint and go up the ladder. Now burst up to the platform and now you'll want to double jump burst across to get the music sheet. You'll want to be careful of the spikes on top. If you want you can just double jump, use your vat and double jump again to get it. Good thing checkpoint is right under us. Grab the cypher coin here. Now go to the next room. You may be wondering why I have that much gold less than before because I died again, when I tried to get money bags from first death. This part is simple, the floor will move along the spikes and you'll have to make do with the area. Start by getting on top of the twirly things, to get a cypher coin and continue right. Ignore the gems, if you want to have an easier time. And now you'll have some knights on small platforms. You'll have to kill them as they drop down. Unless you want to avoid them during the rest of this segment. There's a cypher coin in between them so make sure to get it. I'm not getting back on the platform, am I? At the end you'll find another knight. Ignore it or fight it, and go up the ladder to the next area. At least he drops good amount of gold. Up here use the checkpoint on the left, kill both dear wizards on the right and go up the ladder. As you go up the ladder you can break the wall on the left for a platter. Get it and at the top you'll have two ways to go. Drop down from the first twirly thing. Grab the cypher coin and break the dirt blocks on the left to pass through. In this screen you'll want to make your way left. While grabbing the two cypher coins. And being careful of the gears dropping down. Counting to 3 helps me with timing maybe it will help you too if you have problems in this room. Tonics here if you need them in my case I don't need them, since I have a full amount. Once you reach the next screen use the moving platform to kill both enemies and grab the music sheet in the center. I don't know if I said this in my Shovel of Hope Let's Play but this reminds me of Mickey Mouse.
continue right now. Ignore the night below you, and go down the twirly thing, to get to the next screen. Here the screen will start moving up automatically, so you'll want to be fast, and keep up or you'll die. Start by going, right and getting the cypher coin then go up the ladder. Jump on the moving platforms, and jump left across them to get another cypher coin. Don't burst yourself, unless you need to because we'll have missiles flying around the area. Get the cypher coin on the left. Get the gems here. And you're done with this area. Next room. This is the final screen. Break the wall on the right. To find a platter with a turkey then hit the red lever on the left to lower the floor. Use the checkpoint and go right to fight a boss. Oh, look, it's Plague Knight. I heard you might show up. Why have you come here? Ah, the esteemed inventor. I do so respect your craft, hee <laughs> hee. Relinquish your essence and you won't be harmed. What? I don't think so, bird mask. You have your own brain. You sit or lose it. He has two phases and two attack in this phase. Wrench throw where he throw a wrench at you. He can trip over and don't show him mercy. And wrench shower is where he throw. Wrench is up in the air. And then you end up facing this tank thing. In this phase he has 4 attacks. Large missiles. He will fire 3 large missiles at you. You can stand on these like platforms. So jump your way up to the drill if you want. He has small missiles. That are constantly being fired from the shoulder cannon. Explosive balls Tinkanite will fire explosive balls at you that bounce around and explode. And last attack is tank change where he'll rear back into the wall. Which may very well push you off. You can stay on by balancing on the drill, and being ready for the charge. After that he will charge forward into the left wall. He will also launch a missile barrage. These missiles will cover the left half of the screen. Overall, this move is designed to get you off of him. Ah, now Tinkanite. There's an engineer who knows ballistics. Too bad he doesn't know when he's outmatched. Heh, <laughs> yeah, I asked nicely, but he was too stubborn. Now let's give Percy his music sheets. I can't get him here I guess so let's go in the next room. And I'm going to end the part here I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in next one.